there was a lawyer, a high-profile lawyer, a professional lawyer. His client was guilty 100%. Embezzlement, fraud. I mean, all the witnesses were lined up to testify against this person. He's guilty. So the lawyer doesn't know what to do right now. The judge sees the dilemma in the eyes of the lawyer and the client. The judge tells them, please approach the bench. They approach the bench. The judge tells them, look, go into my chambers right now. He tells the lawyer, go into my chambers right now with your client. Give him the best advice that you can. Because all the books are open against him. Give him the best advice that you can. Sure enough, the lawyer, the attorney goes with his client into the room. They're there for half an hour. They're there for an hour. The judge wants to con- conclude with the case already. He sends his police officer, he says, or oh, his officers over there of the court, he says, go see what's going on over there. Why are they taking so long? So the officer goes in, he sees the lawyer sitting down by the desk and the window open. He says, no, where's your client? He says, the judge told me to give him the best advice that I can and my best advice was, run. Go, flee, because everything is against you right now. The only thing you could do is make a run for it. That's the mashara botai they bring about what happens to us by Yamim Nuraim, by Rosh Hashanah, by Kippur. We know all the witnesses are there to testify against me. I haven't been such a good person. I haven't lived up to my expectations or to my potential that I can live up to. So Hashem says, I'm giving you a word of advice. The best advice that you can take from me is teshuvah. 